Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. And thank you, Coach. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Let's go, let's go! So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And this could be a whole yeah. lot of fun because if his game go. plan goes Tight into right. effect Tight early, right. we're going to see some shots right downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Dude. Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receiver. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. But we knew coming in, it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. Come on, so set. that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Sterling Shepard, 83 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. A first carry now. This is Johnson. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. A big run there by Johnson. Give him 42 yards on the ground. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First carry for James Conner. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. We're talking about Jason Kelsey now, not Travis, his brother who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. Here we go, here we go. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Zebra, zebra, zebra. On second and nine, Foles. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. And I think he's a guy, if they had let him walk, no one was going to be shouting from the top of a mountain, but he's a good guy. He's a good locker room guy, too. Good locker room and a good player. I mean, he's a valuable starter for them. And if you just want to start over and maybe bring in someone new, the learning curve might be a little bit big. So it's a good job by getting him taken care of. And now they can move forward. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. On second down, Johnson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's in. Broad Eagles touchdown. David Johnson, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. 
And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Elliott good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now out come the Giants. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Barkley on first down, going to work his way forward only for about a couple there. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Throwing Jones. Blitz coming and down he goes. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. They cannot hold us down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down from the gun Jones under pressure again and down he goes again the lightning rod JJ Watt with a sack and the Giants send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away he only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. These two teams all tied after one. offense set to begin their next drive the last possession these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown and now they'll have a chance to move out in front yeah let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back the special teams went out there handled things they've got it they've got momentum i know they're eager to get out there and put it on display it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three trying to run inside but nothing there call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go Push him back. Push him back. Foles. And Jeffrey's got it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Good for an Eagles first down. Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 
10 yards there and an eagle first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get up field and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now Foles. That is caught inside the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Forget the run on third and one. They shot the deep. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Giants' offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to hands of the wrong team. 